Hi everyone, my name is Hanso. I'm a plant designer and I'm starting a plant based on Sydney. This is one of our product, Monsteria Delicious Basket. Today, what I'm planning to do with this one is I'm trying to test how to grow them properly. So, before start the testing, if I tell you a little bit about the Monster Delicious Farm, this lady can grow very well in outdoor or indoor. When you grow in the, when you grow it outdoor, we definitely need to give them a shady spot. Otherwise, the harsh sunlight can be damaged a lot. If you go around outside, you have been, you may have been seeing the burnt foliage in the sun, and that kind of thing is generally happen by strong sunlight. So, yeah, if you're gonna grow outdoor, then definitely shady spot. But on the other hand, if you're growing in the indoor, then Actually, we can put in a bright room or shady room. But I'll say if you're gonna grow them in the indoor and if you place somewhere has a window, I think it's better to put them there away from the window. The reason is because if the foliage is too close to the window, there is some high chance that it can be burned by the reflected heat. So I'll say I'm gonna place the plant there away from the window. On the other hand, if you're placing in a shade place, maybe you really don't need to worry about the forest is getting burned. However, what I found it is, generally if we growing the monster in a shady spot, then the, it, this plant is trying to find the light, so it becomes, even though it must compact like that one, but eventually it become like little leggy, or like kind of being uh, it's hard to explain it, but it's become like little weird shape. I will show you one of my monsters that have been happen like that. So anyway, so that kind of thing is knowledge that I have been collect from blog or books or other stuff. And actually, that's kind of the same information that I'm giving to my customer too, because that's how I take care of them too. However, found that some people are still struggling with Monsteria and to be honest, I also have a little bit of experience of them so this time, what I want to do is with this monster, I'm trying to have experiment. I'm gonna give them all water and then I'm gonna start placing these four of them. So I just brought all four of the Monstera, like that, and then start to give water before I'm placing them for testing and I'm gonna keep that water in a tap water I put the dishwasher and then mix it together the reason is because that what's that the dishwasher water can uh, stay away of the meal box or that small flies so that's why I'm just I just mix that dishwasher in the water and then I'm just gonna pour those things in the plant I mostly give them water with them one because it can easily control the water amount. Oh shit, not like that. Open it and then literally you just give them water until our soil is wet enough. Just give them water all around there, you know. So after that, yeah, the first one of the pot, the water can be dropped. That means it has been water enough. Now I'm gonna bring in to the other spots. Here is one of my spots of living room. And actually that window is facing the east side. And obviously on the left is like north side. But anyway, because it's east side, if I place the monster here, it's gonna get lots of morning sun. So here is my room. So actually, if you see that I already placed some of the some of the plant I'm growing, like peacefully, fiddly, because they get lots of sunlight from afternoon from 12 p.m. Because here it's like north side, so it's like and now it's winter, so it's gonna get lots of sunlight here. So I'm gonna place one monster here to the toilet. See here, there is no any sunlight, even though it has light, but the light gonna come through there from there a little bit. But it's very indirect. So I'm gonna put one here. Like this. 
and uh, probably about here or something I'm gonna put one artificial light so it can get a little bit light there so shady spot so demon give water demon every monster except for demon I'm gonna give water once a week and I will just keep comparing what will be happening on the monster I just place all the monster in different conditions and then for dry so after seven days and another seven days later I will just record what will be happen on the monster and let's see how it goes anyway thank you for watching and then I will see you in the next video